The old man sighed, just rolling his eyes, dragging the turtle from where he hides. Come along, turtle, we can't be late. It's time to sit, decide on your fate. We must decide before mother gets back, but turtle very much hated this fact. So he stole some apples and some bread, deciding to hit the road instead. A shrill voice screamed at him as he ran. His friends and sisters saw him and planned to follow him as he swam downstream, laughing and singing, all one big team. Early spring and the flowers had bloomed. Warm days were ahead, April, May, June. Running and swimming, heading down river, the nights were quite perfect and they didn't shiver. But food got quite scarce and ran quite low, so when Fox showed up, they were willing to go anywhere with him and follow him deep in the woods with promise of food and other fine goods. They started to shake out of fear and apprehension, but he gave what he promised, relieving their tension, leading them up to a makeshift stage where quietly before him he had arranged a small puppet show full of morals and rules in which he'd promise how to show how not to be fooled, how to be happy and never be blue, how to be honest and kindly and true, Follow the sun and do only right, and you'll live forever, there will be no night. Well, these stories were happy and the food was quite good, so the animals did as the fox said they should. They walked through the forest to an ivory tower, which shone in the sun and rose tall with power. They knocked on the door and made a loud sound, and a darty little face of an owl peered out. He said, sit up straight, you're not good enough, be proud of your goodness, but make yourself tough. Read all these books and follow the rules and look down on others. They are the fools. <laughs> no one liked this owl and this stiff iron rule, but they thought that this tower still held something true. It all shattered one day when they saw the white gall, the pure one they were told to hold above all. He told a small mouse, meek and afraid, to take a small whip and try to be brave and whip yourself well because you made a mistake and when you start whipping, try not to shake. Little Turtle was shocked and he planned an escape, running quite fast. They all managed to scrape out of that place and into the world, noticing how it had changed to absurd. And the forest had gone, replaced with a town, the tower, the shining and glistening crown. From behind them, they were chased by some minions of gloom. From the tower, those who ranted of justice and doom. Turtle led the way and he ran quite fast as his friends were picked away, one by one till at last. Cornered he was and stuck and afraid. He crouched down low, sure his time was now made, ready for death, but he fell into the earth, and safe there he stayed till night made her birth. He woke from the night, and once more he went, not looking at anything, till the moment when he saw a red fox, both familiar and strange. The gray on his beard made him look changed. He beat the poor fox, bloody and raw, proud of himself he was, till he saw himself in the pond his features mature he ran from old fox no longer quite sure afraid of himself of the world also too he sat by himself and he heard something new call from a crow told the turtle i know the truth of this life and which way to go crow looked at turtle and turtle looked back seeing the bird in the tree with a pack the crow was quite dirty and smelly and drunk but something told him this guy was no punk. Crow told Turtle, you might feel alone, but if you ask me, I'll show you a new home. Turtle was skeptical, but he had to believe. He was cold and outside, he might surely freeze. Following the bird, he went into a cave. He was quite scared, though he tried to be brave. He tried to be steadfast and true and upright, but the darkness got in him, there was no more light. He slept and he dreamed and he learned how to thrive by animals who knew more than just how to survive. He felt himself changing, but during that time he didn't know just how much a change he would find. When twilight was gone and spring warmed the air, Turtle came out from the ground, breathed the air. Turtle was different and looking, Turtle found feet full of fur and fangs. Full of surging power, Turtle started running south and ran till tired and nearly worn out, then down in the hollow, down by the spring, Turtle found someone to who his heart did sing. Dancing and prancing over hills and on streams, they lived together, it was like some perfect dream. But they came apart with a commotion and tears caused by the war and their tools of fear. 
So Turtle ran, running up and over a rainbow, into a world Turtle surely did not know. Shining and bright, full of fiery light, the home of the Savior, the Gaul, pure and white. I am the Savior, I am perfectly good. I do what each and all of you should. Turtle ignored him and then ran away. Delusions which could not be faced today. And then Turtle sat and felt just like leaving. The world seemed much too filled full of grieving. The home Turtle grew in, the friends and the mate were gone. And if Turtle died, the pain would abate. But from Turtle's belly something did squirm. I must be pregnant, Turtle said in those terms. Many months later, a small one came forth. Turtle called the boy small and taught him the worth of this life and this world, and he gave the boy hope that life for him would be better, filled with great scope. Turtle kept the boy separate, but knew all too well that one day this boy would journey through hell. Making him strong, Turtle was proud and relieved when small became strong enough one day to leave. It was a dark and stormy day, and Turtle's work was done. A crow approached, landing near, saying, Your time has come. Turtle was quite old, but with not too much regard for those who sat on higher perches, saying, I'm in charge. So Turtle kept on living, spreading truth and sowing thought, until one day even death had Turtle caught. Turtle wasn't fearful, though, not one bit afraid. Turtle wanted to see that old man again and show him everything that had been and never would have came to be if Turtle had listened to that fate machine.